in the guilty man when I'm ready. Better be quick. Everybody in town's gunning for you. Jim Bridges is mighty popular with the law and order crowd. That isn't Jim Bridges. He was brought in by the skull. He's a fake. Sure, the skull thinks that this envelope contained the evidence, see? And he killed Strong to keep me from publishing it. Why don't you use it now? Oh, that won't be necessary. Well, what are you going to do? I'm going to lie low and keep the skull guessing. What about the committee meetings? Oh, yes. You and Ann get back to town. You be safer there. And tell Dave to, uh, to represent me in the meetings, will you? Oh, that nitwit. Well, don't you be foolish. He's got plenty of brains. And look, if you need me in a hurry, leave a note at the cave. At any rate, I'll be around after dark, see? Say, where's that fool? Come on here, I'm hungry. Coming up. <laughs> here we go. Gentlemen, the railroad is stopped cold at this point, unless we settle Mr. Kenyon's claim. But my deeds to the land are valid. But, Mr. Pinsley, my deeds are prior to yours. Howdy, everybody. Don't let me stop you. <laughs> Ammunition. See here. This is a private meeting. What right have you in here? All the right in the world. I represent Richard Stanley. A man accused of a double murder. He has no standing here. I demand that you leave at once. 
I ain't a leaving. There. Why, this is outrageous. After all, Drew, what harm can he do? I, for one, don't believe Stanley is guilty. Neither do I. Thank you, gentlemen. Well, let's get down to business. <laughs> I thought you'd see it my way. But, gentlemen, Mr. Kenyon's claims have no value. But I assure you, the title I hold to the right of way is valid. But why don't you prove it? There ought to be a record of it in the land office somewhere. Well, that's the trouble. When the land office burned down, all the records were destroyed. Hmm. Makes it mighty convenient for them that claims the land. Just I may add that that offer only holds good for 48 hours. After that, it doubles. What? Double, 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 double. Now, here's the idea. You can reach me at my hotel. Good day, gentlemen. Good day. Good morning, Mr. Gillian. Well, let's settle it. There isn't a chance to raise that amount. Oh, it's all a plot, I tell you. He has no legal claim. How are we going to prove it? Well, that's oh, it. stop this woman, this chatter, and let's get out on the brass tacks. I'm stringing along with Bentley. I think that old hypocrite's a liar and a thief. Why, his claiming to own the right of way is a lot of, a uh, lot of, uh, make-believe. I know, man, I know, but what we need is proof. Now, don't get all in a lather. I aim to help you get it. Oh, by the back files of our newspaper. You see, everything of importance, such as mind or land transfers, would be news and would certainly be printed in the paper. Now, we've got a copy of every issue of the paper since the paper started. And I aim to search through the files until I find what I'm looking for, and we'll show that umbre up. In the meanwhile, why, you just send and get a government referee to set in on the case. Now, go on with your meeting. I got work to do. Well, well Drew, I guess he had some ideas after all, huh? Get some use in this case. He certainly will. It seems hopeless, Dave. We've gone back nearly five years and haven't found anything. You ain't quitting. I won't let you. Don't be scared. I'm here to protect you. Who is it? Open the door, you old fool. It's me. Good thing you spoke or I'd have blasted you. Look out you don't shoot yourself. Get your things. We're traveling. But I haven't finished yet. I... Dick's orders. Good soldier always obeys orders. Right. And that's the way the matter stands. You've done well, Kenyon. Your early training has made you the right man for the job. Uh, but you promised not to expose me. I... No one shall learn of your penitentiary record as long as you follow orders. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you. Your trap is ready to spring. Except for the important fact. That fool in the newspaper office may cause trouble. Oh, what did he do? What he said he'd do. Search the back files and paper. If he finds anything, the government referee might take it into consideration and knock the entire plan into a cock hat. Mm, that's bad. That's Anything in the paper? No, not yet, but it's there. I'm a betting. If you hadn't sent Anne away, we'd have found it for her now. Uh, she's safer away. Say, uh, you know that the skull knows what you're looking for. He might try to find it, too. Well, how'd he find it out? Well, you told the whole committee meeting about it, didn't you? Doggone it. Every time I open my mouth, I put my foot in it. Oh, never mind about that. You go guard the back door. See, while I finish here, if you hear anything suspicious or see anything suspicious, blast away in that old blunderbuss of yours. Give me time to get away. Well, hey, don't you worry. You go right along with your work. You'll be plenty of safe with me out there a guarding you.
see how they run when I went into action? She did good work, baby. What's the matter, Dick? Well, I found the articles, but they made away with them. Well, we're sunk for sure. Well, not exactly. I'll have to get those deeds from Kenya and take them to the land office at Slate and prove their forgeries. Well, hen pecks and mosquito bites. If you do that, why, we're setting pretty. It won't be easy. The skull has that article. He knows the importance of it. Say, Davey, would you mind straightening up the office a little bit? Yes, I will. Yes. What? Straighten. I ain't no watchdog. The skull don't want no interfering until the government man decides the case. Well, you admitted as much to me yesterday. I admit not. Your only motive is to stop railroad construction. I object to those insinuations. My clients have no ulterior motive. Your clients may not have, but you have. Gentlemen, <laughs> gentlemen. We are not dealing in personalities or motives. I am here to examine your papers, hear evidence, and determine the rightful owners to certain property. My decision, once made, will be fully backed by the United States government. Now proceed. Well, that suits me fine. My papers are in order and will prove the railroad right away is secure. Your papers seem to be in order. The deeds are made out legally. And unless further evidence is presented to the contrary, you're justified in going ahead with your railroad. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. I believe, sir, you will find my papers in order also. The deeds are authentic and in accordance with the law. But they are drawn prior to those offered by Mr. Bentley. Title to the property in question seems to rest with Mr. Kenyon's client. Oh, it can't be. This would ruin the entire district. I am sure the papers presented by Mr. Kenyon are forgeries. It is not my intention to be hasty, but unless more evidence can be presented, Mr. Bentley, to support your charges, I will be forced to decide in favor of Mr. Kenyon. Justice Royer, you see. I'll get you the proof you need. peculiar circumstances. I can make no decision until those papers are recovered.
down behind them. ride again to plunder and pillage. Can Deadwood ever rid itself of mandatory? Don't miss this action in a race against time. Next chapter of Deadwood Dick.